everyone it's martin here one hour playthrough welcome back to the long dark it's the next day we spent the night here at the maintenance yard and we're good to go i am over encumbered because of all the stuff that i have to take with me so i found a bolt cutter a hacksaw got a rifle which is just awesome but also these mountaineering ropes which weigh five kilograms so that's a lot um let me quickly drink and then we are good to go and get a little bit lighter as well so yeah um quests are all done get back to jeremiah is it jeremiah jeremiah yeah there we go i wasn't sure and um let's run a little bit we'll probably get tired pretty quickly everyone but i want to keep progress else it takes so long and we have to traverse this entire map and then the other map going through the whole length so there's a lot of things to do but that's okay um i think i'm about seven kilograms overweight right now so, but we have to just simply make do with that um the loots are good the whole complete hole is really good so I'm going to guess we can fix Jeremiah's rifle. Not that I heard something. Um, I still have this bear in mind. And we, of course, keep our own rifle. I'm pretty sure that's a deer. That's fine. I carry a bunch of cloth with me, but um, yeah, that stuff is so handy. Uh, I fight so many wolves and... Your clothing gets torn pretty quickly, or when you find new gear, like I did actually. By the way, um, I think I renewed these two. Got some new gloves as well, and the new climbing socks are good. So, I've got some more protection against the elements, and it shows the thermometer is not going down. I'm all good little bit tired because but that is because of the running I just did but I have to every time my stamina meters filled up I start running and I think that red bar must indicate the amount of carry weight that I'm over which is quite a bit you know I've I just remembered Let's dump these. Screw it. Okay, that makes a little bit of a difference. Hopefully, it doesn't look like the red part of the stamina bar is going down, but hopefully it makes me a little bit less tired. I don't need the calls, really. I mean, there's wood everywhere. That's, that's just fine. And you can't use coal immediately as well, which is correct. I need pretty hot fire to start using coal. Go away there. Alright, cool. So we should be coming to that landslide part. And uh, hopefully we can go across it from this side and not walk around all the way. That would be nasty. Damn, it's slow going. I just want to bring everything with me. Um, so, yeah. And it's more the gear that I found. It's, it's pretty incredible that I'm just 5 kilograms over now. So I could blame that to the mountaineering ropes, right? Oh, this is a little bit better. I think we go downhill. I love this physics right now. I'll have to make full use of it. This is pretty nice. Alright, so this is the landslide part. Can we go? Yes, we can. So it seems like it's meant to be or made for it. Um. Ooh. Oh, let's see. Can we go down here. Yes, we might. Ow. 
He's a little bit of a wimp when he just jump, jumps from half a meter height, but that's okay. All right, um, we're doing good. Let's continue. Running is a little bit faster now as well. I'm glad I dumped these coals. The coals are good in an emergency because it heats the fire up like there is no tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it takes like 20 minutes before you can put a coal on an existing fire. So yeah. Alright, so we have the exit of the map over here. We're really good in time. We actually might be able to pull it off. Half a day's time? You see... Jeremiah said it was a day's journey, but I think it's a day's journey to the maintenance yard. So I think with a half a day in front of us, I should be able to cross the other map. And that's definitely what I'm going to try. And to keep some progress into the story. All right, we're almost there. Good stuff. Could make a cup of coffee though, that would be actually a really good idea. Um wait, that would be a really good idea. Can I I thought there were these branches you could harvest. Alright, we do that later. Alright. Let's see if we can get some wood quickly. There we go. Some strawberry. That's enough. Seven sticks is pretty good actually. I never picked them. Alright, um, there we go. Use some accelerant. Put some sticks on. Uh, just a bunch. There we go. That's too much actually, but that's fine. Let's make a cup of coffee. That will warm us up. Not that we really need it, but it gives us more... Or reduces the fatigue, maybe. That's a better word. And warms us up. So, there, and we should have a plus now above the eye, good stuff. Alright, that will keep us going, hopefully, I uh, hope it counteracts a little bit the fact that I'm over encumbered. Okay, we've got full stamina, so let's do a run. I can also see, let's take this side for a change. I see the crow, so there might be a wolf nearby. Let's get to the high ground a little bit. If I can. Don't see any movement here. So, probably is a deer. I got some firewood, don't need it. Let's keep going. Oh, that's the dude I found last time with a bloody written note. Right. Oh, no, no. There he is. Oh, shit. Well. Really? I killed it? No. No. Did I headshot it? Actually, I didn't think I... Did I fix my rifle? Oh, it's 100%. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, man. Um, I killed my first bear. Black bear carcass. 1% frozen. Is there a... I'll take his hide for sure. 31 kilograms of meat? Well, it's if this was anywhere near my oh my goodness! All right, that's bad weather. Fresh black bear hide. Wow, I'm pretty. My first bear. Holy shit! So sticking to the railway isn't that safe, it turns out. But that's fine. Okay, we've got plenty of time, but. My fatigue is going down. I can't make a uh, fire here, so... Oh, shit. Um, no. So what I 
think I will do see if I can try to make it to these derailed wagons I spent the night once there make a fire make a coffee maybe rest pick up my sleeping mat duh that was not the wisest of ideas I had to leave that behind although I found bad so I was in the end I was good where is he it was just there he is get the hell out of here all right we need to run and then I will reload but I want to gain some distance oh I can hear the ice cracking I don't like it all right reload all right he's gone that's a good thing all right are there any more bears so we've got a new enemy right now basically we got bears that's bad news bears all right the wagons are in sight i could maybe do a sneak three hours sleep or something like that in it or just get myself a cup of i don't think a cup of coffee would do I'm just checking out that wolf. Alright, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. It should be around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Should give us plenty of time. Let's get rid of this gun. Alright, got another carcass. We'll leave that. It's far too cold as it is right now. And this running isn't too good for my fatigue as well, but I really want to hurry it up. Okay, the wolf is in the way in the back. Don't see any other movement. Oh, the storm is bad. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Damn. We're almost there. Alright, so the entrance was at this side, I think. Pretty sure. Um, let's get some wood. Yeah, I need to. I need to rest for a little bit. Maybe two hours and a cup of coffee. Sounds reasonable. All right, let's make a fire. Let's pick this one up first. Yeah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have picked it up <laughs> after all. All right, let's do this. Thank goodness for that. Let's make coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Do we have a cup of coffee? No. Alright, then let's see how. F just 45 minutes. I think you need to continue. It's a little bit of a gamble. I hope the coffee just counteracts my fatigue. I don't want to get into the red. I think he will actually pass out, so. No more running from here on end. I think. Save my energy. So what I will do is let me cut edit this part unless I can see wolves. There's a close encounter with a wolf and I'll continue recording. Else I will see you at the mystery lake map. All right. All right, guys, I made it. I'm really, really tired. I just did my final run and um, made good time, but went pretty slow. So yeah, the cut edit is well one in this place. All right, so I'm really, really curious how this story is going to unfold with Jeremiah and if we can fix his gun and 
hopefully he gives us a ton of ammo. That would be really nice because if you're alone in the wilderness for months on end, you should have a lot of gear. A lot of ammo at least, so let's see. <laughs> well, you look like hell, Mackenzie. Thanks. I love what you've done with the place. Ha! I see you're an interior design critic now. You fixed my rifle? Yep. Found one of my own, too. Damn, not bad for a pilot. You're full of surprises. Maybe you can make it after all. Now what? I really need to get going. My friend is out there, and with all this wildlife on the loose, Whoa. Slow down. A rifle will get you out of a jam, but survival's about what you know. And right now, you don't know shit. What do you suggest? Books on tape? <laughs> Smart ass. No. What I suggest is Jeremiah's survival school. Student population one. Let's see if we can keep you alive long enough to graduate. <laughs> interesting all right well um it was a long episode what i'm going to do if you pick up this conversation uh in the next episode um thanks so much for watching we made it back at least and we have a new quest we do we're going to do the survival school in the next episode i really need to rest in this well do some uh, uh backpack maintenance but for now thanks so much for watching and all your support chapter 3 survival school started and we'll see you at the next episode bye